funny the old um, steel wheel on this thing creaks like anything. That's a noise you can hear in the background. Anyway, got a few jobs to do on the camper so I'll get stuck into those and once they're all done I can then start heading off into the um, back of this camper and have a look see and see what we can do there. But um, yeah, it's, it's a good time to actually do all the outside and get those finished because we're in our summer. And as it gets on to winter, I can do the inside jobs then. So that means virtually the whole camper is done from top to bottom. So uh, I'm quite pleased with the way it's turned out. So anyway, we'll just uh, go on for a bit of a cruise.
I've added a couple of other things to the uh, to the camper, so I just thought I'd share with you. Um, I bought some of these little striker plate covers for the doors. Just want to see how they look with um, with the new paint job and everything to make things look good. And another thing I've done is I've added some new mats to go on the floor as well. I'll just show you what it looks like. See, there you go. There's the new mats on the floor. So that's what they look like when they're put on. I think it looks a lot better than seeing a couple of screw holes in the door. So that looks a lot more presentable. Still got a bit of work to do in the, in the camper. I, um, in the cab here, I've got to sort out all that wiring there, which is to do with that um, reversing camera that I was working on. Also, I've got to get this radio sorted out. That doesn't look very flash, so we're going to sort that out as well. There's a couple of jobs coming up. Oh, no, the thing I want to do is this inside courtesy light. It, um, well, I've got the power disconnected, but it works. It works okay if you manually turn it on, but on the door um, program, it doesn't seem to be working. So, um, I'll have to investigate that and see if I can get that working as well. So that's another job to do on the camper. There's always something to do. Um, and I don't like having things like this that don't work properly. So, uh, yeah, it's another job. So there you go, there's the uh, kickboards put in and the kick plate on the end here. That's all done. Excellent. And the camper went in for a service with a new fuel filter, a new um, distributor and leads, plus a new air filter. And that's about rounds it up, so we'll just go for a drive in the Chev. Cheerio!